Okay, guys. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you something that I swore I never would show because uh, critics and haters and all that. People say, oh, he's full of it. For the greater good of the hobby and our boxes and everybody out there running equipment so they don't have trouble, for the greater good of the hobby, I'm going to show you all this. All right, folks. We got an MFJ analyzer. 269, okay? First off, when you put on a coax end, you solder the center, you solder the grounds, not just dab them, you solder them. If you got a piece of coax that does not have the ground solder, like this, do not run an amplifier on it, period. Do not, because your amplifier will die. Some people don't solder them, you can do what you want to, but if you don't solder them, you're asking for trouble. Shorts in your grounds, dead pills, dead amplifier. All right. I got a silver Teflon end, one of the good ones. I'm gonna screw this up here where it goes. Now I'm gonna tell you a few things before I start this. The length depends on the velocity of the coax, of how long you want your jumpers or your coax. So everyone's gonna be just a little different. So if you need 120 foot of coax, cut off 135 and do what I'm fixing to show you. If you need a six foot jumper, cut off seven and do what I'm fixing to show you. If you need a bigger than a seven foot jumper, you cut off about 15 or 16 and do what I'm fixing to show you. But I'm going to show you the proper way to make a jumper. And when I'm saying proper way, have you ever had like a dummy load? Let's say you got a dummy load, 1.0 SWR. You put a jumper and a watt meter on it and check the SWR the analyzer again, it's 1.3. Uh, what? Why? Because the coax is not electrically correct you've got to have the coax the right length electrically correct to make everything perfect and this goes back into tune jumpers people talk about makes fun of i'm not telling you to tune your jumpers more or less what i'm telling you is to hide your jumpers okay you want on your antenna if you've got a 1.0 when you get to the end you want a 1.0 when you get your jumpers everything in line you don't want to have a 1.0 on the antenna have a 1.3 this will hide your coax. You do this to your coax length, your long piece of coax, and do this to your jumpers. You will see a lower SWR at the end. If you run a reflect meter, you will see less reflect too at the end. It will lower, I mean, doing this all the way through from the radio to the box to the meter and so forth, and then the coax the only time. You'll just get better results all the way around. You'll have less reflect, less SWR. The SWR at the antenna will be the same with the SWR at the radio. Here we go, folks. We've got like a six foot piece. This is actually a little over six. And what you do, all right, we're gonna plug this into our analyzer, okay? We got one end on it. Like I said, I swore I wouldn't show this because of my haters, but for the greater good of the hobby, I'm gonna show it. We got one end on it, okay? Look, no end on this end, on the other end of the jumper, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our analyzer With this hook to it. Of course, SWR is always in red. All right, this piece is close. We're going to go to the frequency. We want light. See the frequency change? Okay. So we're going to be doing for 28. So I'm going to set this up on 31. All right. Most of the time, if your numbers are way off, excess will be way up there and resistance might be 100 or something. Don't let it scare you. These numbers will be real high. Right now, this one's real close. R, S equals zero, X equals five. Now what you do, and usually if it's off real bad, I know what I know what length to cut it's why this one's so close. But what you do, it'll be off real bad on the numbers. You cut off an inch at a time until you find your length. Okay? So what I'm gonna do here, is I wanna try to hold it and get both of them. You see the coax. I'm gonna cut just a little bit of piece off right here. Nothing. I'm gonna cut a little bit more off. <laughs> Look what happened. Excess went down to four. I'm gonna cut just a little bit more off. Nothing happened. I'm gonna cut just a little bit off at a time. 
XX went down to three. You just cut about an inch at a time until you find your length. Sometimes it takes a little more, but you're better off to cut too little than the X went down to two. Still two. I cut this a little bit long on purpose. X went down to one. Now when you get down to one, you wanna make sure your frequency is right on and start cutting. Just a little bit off at a time. Exit down to zero. Look, X disappeared. RS equals zero. That's what you're looking for. If you get it close, it's okay. But when you do this, when you put this jumper I've got in line right now on channel 31, it's basically going to be invisible. So if you put an analyzer on the antenna, and then this check it, and then you put this jumper on the antenna on the watt meter and check it, you're going to have the same reading. This, like I said, this will cut down on reflect. This will cut down on transistors blowed up. This will cut down on amplifiers bad. I mean, this will just help everybody. Again, like I said, I swore I wasn't going to share it, but for the greater good of the hobby, I'm sharing it. You do your long coax this way too. Set your SWRs at your antenna with your analyzer as close as you can. Then do your long coax and put it in line, and you'll see you'll have the same thing. But there, my folks, is how you set jumpers up. And now what you do, if you got that X'd out, you just take this off and just put an end on it. But if you do this, you're going to see lower SWRs all the way through and lower reflect. And you do it on your long coax too. Now I know some guys are going to make fun of this video and some guys are going to say you can't tune jumpers. I used to be the same way. I've done this for about a year now. It's unbelievable what difference it makes. Like when I used to build amps, if I did an 8 pill, let's say I had 2 watts reflect back in the day. If you go back and watch my videos, there's 2, 2 and a half watts reflect. You can watch my videos now, there's about half watt reflect on an 8 pill build. The builds are the same. It's nothing to do with the way the amps build. I tune my bench like this with tune coax, tune my bench, or I guess tune coax you call it, or zeroed out coax, I tune my bench. And now I went from getting two watts reflect on my amp bills to just barely moving the needle. This makes a tremendous amount of difference. I hope this helps everybody make coax and put their ends on and keep from blowing your equipment. Remember, hot and ground solder. Like I said, I'm a little reluctant in putting this up on the YouTube. Cause I don't really want my haters getting free information, the guys that are ugly, but for the greater good of the hobby and the overall welfare of everybody, I'm going to post a video. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, folks. Your friend 10, 018 Boots. Catch you later.